So, are you going to answer my question? Yes or no, can I do ASMR on you? <laughs> yes, I'm serious. Oh, come on, you can't say no to me. Please. Pretty please. Po 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 Pretty please. <laughs> well, there's a lot you might not know about me. My hobbies and interests and my unique likeness for things. <laughs> I'm just winding you up. Now, are you gonna sit down properly for me to do this, or do I need to put my hands on your shoulders and shove your butt down? <laughs> Look, it's not like I'm gonna do anything weird, it's just ASMR. Now, let me have my fun, okay? I want to pretend that I can make a stupid amount of money being an ASM artist and trying so hard and helping people fall asleep and relax and tingle and all that stuff. <laughs> Honestly, I like the sweet irony that content creation like ASM artists do because everyone wants you to watch their video for the longest and be engaged and click on the next one that they produce. But, um,. Well, ASM artists quite literally want your butt to go to sleep, so... I don't know, I feel like there's some sort of saying, or word, or phrase, I'm sure there's a German word for it. Um, but... Okay, ASMR. I'm gonna pick up one of my tools. And what do you think I'm doing to you? a makeup brush. No, I don't wear makeup for you ask. It's uh, just really good. Mm -hmm. You're awfully inquisitive. Think to yourself, why would I, your friend, have an interest in ASMR and at my disposal. Hmm? Ding 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 ding. Because I'm an ASM artist. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. My friend, how? Oh, how can she do it? Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> it's all fun and games. Basically, and sometimes those fun and games just happen to go from one year of memeing to two years to three years to four years, and well, before I know it, I have a stable income and a, a very creative job industry. And I may or may not have collabed with over 70 other content creators that do what I do. And now, I am here, right now, tingling you for your enjoyment, or mine. Because, um, doing live ASMR on someone is definitely going to be different than doing it on a 3D microphone. Yeah. Mm. It's not so expensive to start. That's why I encourage people to start because all you need is a microphone. Your phone has a microphone, and I mean, pretty much everyone has a phone these days. And you can get cheap artwork. Just reuse the same one over and over. And it's like, what? A $15 investment? And before you know it, you could end up with 200,000 subscribers, which is 
unfathomable. Unfathomable? What's the word? Unfathomable. <laughs> oh. Have you figured it out yet? Dude, that's wholesome. Not the other version. <laughs> Not for this channel, anyway. Hmm. Yes. Well, I can tell you how it all started out. With a meme. People ignore the powers of meaning. And once upon a time, four years ago, the internet was experiencing one of its many trends, which was Black Hole Jam. And it was after the first captured picture of a black hole came out and instantly was turned into an anime girl. And I think Earth Chan was trending as well, in general. And this little dweeb that you are letting do a smile on your life right now thought, oh, wouldn't it be hilarious if I <laughs> roleplayed as Black Hole Chan devouring the Earth? And technically, on my first ever ASMR video, I did four. <laughs> Which, looking back at it, I mean, it makes sense because I will always confirm that I am DTL <laughs> and I did always technically start as loot and I think it's pretty on par for who I am today <laughs> because I'm just so so unbelievably unserious about everything I think, um, what I get to do, and what I, I get to say, as my job, is like, yeah, I put people to sleep, and I get to come up with fun little stories, like, mm, well, what's a recent video that I enjoyed making? Um, I enjoyed the Yandere Traps You in the Stairwell. And I enjoyed it, because it was a bit of a challenge, but I got to slip a meme in. A meme into that video. There's a very famous gaming meme, and it's called Door Stuck. And I, I like hiding little easter eggs in my videos, so you could just be enjoying my video completely unaware of the subliminal naughty mind games I'm playing with you. <laughs> hmm. It's a pretty crazy life. Not sure. I'll definitely still say that you should stick to education. <laughs> but I suppose it might look quite fun from the outside. And if you want to give it a try, I say, fuck it, go do it, because you never know what could happen, because when I uploaded my little black hole Jan devours Earth Jan meme, if you said to me, mm -hmm, in four years time, you could be you know, well, I don't know what the, the word is, but I guess successful, yes, that I could be 
successful in the creative industry as someone who has no natural born talent. Well, I'd call you a liar, because you certainly aren't a truther at that point. And yet, here we are in the future. Just listening and tingling, or hopefully tingling away. ASMR is definitely subjective, but it's a crazy life, and I think you shouldn't be scared. You only get one life after all. There's no respawn, you know, if you fall off a cliff, you don't just respawn at the last checkpoint. So, if you genuinely think you want to be a content creator, just say to yourself, fuck it, dude, and do it. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know where the hell DTL would lead, and we had a lot of issues. <laughs> Along the way, when YouTube updated their policies. Oh, how dare they. Um, but I reached over 100,000 subscribers twice. And that's quite a feat. And I'm really proud of myself. And I did end up getting a play button. So, if you were on Twitter, you might have seen it. But don't worry, if you didn't. I got my play button. And now, I have an insane life where I get to, you know, write a script and pick out any silly plot that sounds interesting, like Milf next door and bites you in after losing your keys. I think, um, definitely having a background of knowledge when it comes to, um, Benzai, shall we call it, uh, helps out with a lot of plots, <laughs> and I'm not even gonna deny that, because it has helped me come up with quite fun concepts, <laughs> but, uh, it's good, life's good, um, I hope you realize that you, yes you, who I am doing ASMR on right now, genuinely has changed my life and the direction and course that it may or may not have been on. Um, and I think, you know, you might hear it a lot where Content creators, they, you know, they say thank you all the time, and you hear it so much that it kind of loses its meaning, and, you know, they celebrate a milestone, like, who, who doesn't want to celebrate a milestone? I've just found that whatever, whatever I type, or whatever I say, it never is enough, or reads enough. That. I'm just so grateful, you know? Crazy, crazy. And now I'm cleaning your dirty, disgusting ears. Because they're so full of earwax. From wearing your gamer headset all the time. And I'm totally not, like, talking to you, but talking about me. Fucking earwax, bruh. It's 
listeners who throw me on in the background whilst you're gaming away. That's right, I'm on Dia, and uh, just life is good, okay? It is good, and I'm hoping that you also get that goodness, or maybe if your life's a bit shitty, because we all as easy as like oh I'll wake up and I'll be better tomorrow sometimes it's really like fucking knee deep in shit to be honest at least that you listening right now has unironically changed a girl's life and given her the opportunities that she in no way shape or form could ever have and in turn
This is why I need scripted videos and not off the top of my 